Next one here, another colored choke. Instead of passing the color to this one here, we'll use the paper cutter type of uh, motion here. So this is a great choke to have. So the first thing I need to do with the paper, paper cutter choke, the majority of the situations, you know, if you try to just paper cutter from here, meaning if you just do this here, for example, and apply pressure, he starts, that arm is free to do whatever he wants. He's gonna take pressure off of it, it's not gonna work. So the idea at first is to isolate the arm. So we gotta isolate the near arm. So the way I'm gonna do this here is that I'm gonna go and brush this arm here and get a grip like this. So this is gonna be hard to see, I'm gonna have him sit up so you can see it from the other side there. So I went from this side here and four fingers are inside the collar, okay? So, so you're right here, four fingers in the lapel and um, you know, you got thumb outside. So once you got this right now, this arm is completely locked in there. So all I gotta do now is place my thumb in and you can do it in two ways. You can place the thumb in first, pop the head out and come in down. Or you could come around and get to this position here. One or two. It doesn't really matter. At that point, when you got this here, this is super tight. Okay? You can see that as I'm coming down, I'm forcing him to look my way here. That's ideal because that means I have the side of the neck. And you just shift your weight on top of that arm. Shift the weight. Okay. So starting from scratch here, so if his arm is on this side here, I'm gonna have to brush that arm first this way, and then go around to get that grip, okay? So watch, that arm is stuck under my right armpit here. Okay. So here, so right now, if he tries to come my way, it's gonna be very hard because I'm controlling the lapel, so if he tries to turtle this way here, you know, hard, great space. If he tries to turtle away, obviously it's gonna catch in my armpit, and he's not going anywhere. So once I got the, get this sort of control here, really hard for him to resist. Now thumb goes in. Okay, now I'm gonna pass it along. Go this way. Okay. I do a lot of this here. Um, not necessarily this variation, and you know I do this variation also E and no E. Uh, but I do a lot of paper cutter chokes just whenever I get on the side. So I'm a strong believer in putting pressure, meaning whenever I'm here and I, I want to progress, and maybe I'm not. You know, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. And if I don't do anything but just hold the situation, he's never gonna let me progress to a better position. So what I do to change that stalemate is that I start driving you know, some sort of pressure there in his neck. All of a sudden the pressure starts coming, he starts worrying less and less about me transitioning to something else. You know, so he keeps moving there. All of a sudden, again, you know, I'm putting pressure there in the neck and maybe that's what's gonna give me, you know, enough space there to change the map. So you can use that paper cutter principle all the time to put pressure, gi or no gi. I don't even hold a gi on that thing. So let's give that a try, good technique to have.